Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 10 past 6 on a Monday the 25th of October. I am currently reading We're Not Home, ed edited by Cam Wolf. Uh, this is a horror anthology, lots of booktubers in this. I have a story in it myself and I am enjoying it so far. I will be doing a review. I don't have a huge amount tabbed out, but we'll see. And uh, my camera also picks up this face, which I think is quite funny. If I move my hand there, will it pick up the other faces? Yeah, but not the bottom, not the bottom right face, not the redhead for some reason. I don't know why. She's pretty. Anyway, uh, I'm reading this, and then next up, I'm probably going to read *The Secret of Quickly Hall* by James Herbert because I need to read that so I can then give it to my friend Sabrina once I'm done with it. Oh, and I'm like hard at work as always, working hard or hardly working. Doing a bit of both, mate. Oh god, I'm tired. Dane reads. Hello, it's me. It is quarter to five on Tuesday, the 26th of October. I am very tired. Um, I, but the good news is, basically, I got woken up by the broadband guy, uh, the internet guy, and he came around and he's finally fixed it so I can now finally get online. Sort of. Um, it's kind of slow, but I mean, it's getting there. Um, and I had a little nap after he left, and it seems to have sped up since then. I'm just trying to do a speed test now. Let's see, go, see how we do. I'm supposed to have 80 megabits per second download and 20 mega, megabits per second upload, but I don't think I'm quite getting that. Um, but when you first start, it does, normally, it does normally go a little bit slow until it kind of picks up and kicks in. So, there we go. It looks like at the moment I've got like a 0 0.5 megabit per second download, so it's 160 times slower than it's supposed to be. And the upload is what's really struggling. It's kind of not I think it's a 0, 0.00 megabits per second anyway uh, I'm still reading we're not home I very nearly finished that and then I'm gonna read Ozma of Oz because that's the next book I will be buddy reading with a Joel Swagman so that's very exciting because um, I've enjoyed the Oz book so far um, and I need to edit well I finished editing my radio show so I just need to export and upload it um, ready for tonight so I'm gonna go off and uh, off and do that now and then I will do a little bit of work as well and uh, we will see how we get on. I don't think I've got anything else to update you on. Um, just been keeping busy. I built a greenhouse yesterday, a new greenhouse. Um, still need to finish doing my house tour, but I, I need to finish getting my house in order before I can do that. Uh, I've been alphabetizing books as well. Hello, people of the internet. It is currently Wednesday, the 27th of October at about 10 past nine in the evening. What have I done today? Well, my um, recycle bin was collected today and they very kindly also took some of the, rec the recycling that was poking out of the top of my other bins, um, which has now meant I've got a little bit more bin space so I can put some more of the crap that's just in my garden into the bins um, and then the bins next get emptied next Wednesday. And I don't know, I, by that point, that might then leave me with enough space to basically have emptied all of the piles of rubbish in my garden there might still be some stuff just knocking around in my greenhouse and in my compost bin um but you know at least most of it will be out of just the general garden because i seem to be getting rubbish faster than i can get rid of it at the moment so um yeah anyway it's just a slow thing you know it always happens when you move house so i guess i'll feel as though it's all accomplished like, I'll officially have moved in once all that pile of rubbish goes. Because pretty much everything else is now done. I do actually, I mean, I still have my books to alphabetise and my vinyls to do. I've started the books. I'm getting on for, I'm probably about 30, just over a third of the way through. Like, 35, 40% of the way through alphabetising the books. Um, and the vinyls won't take as long because there's not as much. And also, they're up here as well, so it's just easier for me to get them. I don't have to go downstairs to get there. The internet is now sorted, so that's very good. So I now have my three cameras set up. So I have a camera that points out the kitchen window into the garden, um, so I can keep an eye, see if any wildlife comes along. Um, I have one that points at the sofa there, because Biggie sits on that sometimes, and then one that points at my bed. So I do need to update the passwords on those so that people can't just randomly access them by just using the default passwords. Um, and then the one in here and in the bedroom, those are both gonna be unplugged and then I'll only plug them in when I know I'm gonna be away overnight or whatever. I can plug them in to keep an eye on Biggie. I have my Google Home set up so I can do this. Hey Google, what time is it? Well, that worked. It's 9.13 p.m. 
there we go told you it was 10 past nine um so i have a google home in my office in the kitchen and in my bedroom um, which gives me nice coverage so i can actually it was useful last night i can set myself reminders uh, i don't know how to access the reminders actually um do i do it in google assistant let's have a little look I think I do, I think I get the Google Assistant app and then it sends notifications to the Google Assistant app, but I don't know. I guess I need to play with that and get that working. I mean, I have a bunch of other bits and bobbies to do and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, my internet is now working okay. It's working okay on my desktop computer as well, which means I've been able to upload a bunch of videos. So um, this evening I will probably be editing some of those videos and doing some formatting uh, and all that kind of stuff. A little bit of eBay listing here and there, we will see. I sold the cat tree that I bought for 35 quid, I sold it for a tenner, but at least I got some money back and someone will pick it up and it can get out of my house because Biggie just doesn't use it, he just, it's too big for a, a cat tree really, which is fair enough, but I, you know, I'm glad I at least tried. I got paid today as well, I'm still very much in my overdraft, um, but I'm not as bad, I'm not as badly in my overdraft as I thought I was. Um, what else is new? I finished reading Ozma of Oz by L. Frank Baum. That was probably a 3.5, but a strong one out of 5. Uh, review of that coming soon. It's part of my buddy reads with Joel Swagman. So that is very exciting. Uh, and I've just started reading The Secret of Crickley Hall by James Herbert, which honestly is a little bit slow at the moment, but that's okay. I'm fine with it. I wasn't expecting it to be fast paced because it's a big old big old read so that's probably going to keep me going now until the weekend i do need to choose my next book i don't know what i'm going to read next we'll see i don't know i'm supposed to be reading the moonstone with charles heathcote um in november as well and it may well be november by the time i finish reading this james herbert book because it's 600 pages so we will see um i think that's it i think that's all i've got for you today hello hello it's your boy dane here it's uh 25 to 8 on Thursday the 28th of October Excuse me. I have been keeping busy um, I worked on the house and stuff and just on work in general as well. It's pretty late last night um, I've put I've sawn a shelf into size so that it can fit on my bookcase that I bought Because very usefully the people at the charity shop forgot one of the shelves I've also put another shelf up so that's bought me like two shelves worth of space in the living room for my books uh, I've also brought all my Agatha Christie up in my room by my bed um, And I'm gonna put I've got my uh, Stephen King on the staircase and then up there I have another bookcase with a bit of space where I can put um, My uh, Isaac Asimov so just because they're like the the authors I have the most books by basically I can keep them separate from the others just so that you know I can still find them when I need them and whatnot I'm also gonna do that with Jean Plady who I've never read before but I got a whole bunch of books from her from a job that I bought on eBay uh, so we'll see, that might mean I have enough space to put all my books away and alphabetise and in order and stuff. I don't know, I also need to sell some more and give some away and stuff, so uh, I'm working on that. I'm still reading The Secret of Crickley Hall by James Herbert, it's pretty good, slow going but pretty good. I'm about a third of the way in now, um, and then I'm going to watch the show of that once uh, once I've read the book. Um, what else is new? Um, I've done a little bit in the garden today, um, sorted out my bins, uh, gave the uh, path out there a sweep as well, mostly finished doing the um, washing up and stuff too. And then my friend Sabrina's coming over tomorrow, we're going to make vegan food, uh, burn some candles and some incense, maybe listen to Paul Robeson on vinyl because I've just got her into Paul Robeson because we're going we're gonna to practice some music and one of the songs we're going to do is Gloomy Sunday which Paul Robeson did a brilliant version of. Um, and we're going to carve a pumpkin as well and then I'm not sure I might be supposed to work the film night at the art centre tomorrow night but I hope not because I can't be asked. Uh, then Saturday evening there's a gig at the art centre, Bear Jam supported by Tony Goff and the Broken Colours so I'm excited about seeing both of those and then on Sunday uh, Roundabout Creative Theatre which is the art centre's in-house uh, theatre company they're putting on a performance called Greta's Ghostly Goings On so I'm going to check that out as well and um, yeah it should be a good weekend and then it'll be Monday again, then I'll have me counselling again. But that is where I'm at. Yo, um, it is 10 to 10 on Friday the 29th of October 2010. Been a good day, so my friend Sabrina came round earlier. Sorry, I'm just getting into a more comfortable position, putting my feet up on my cajon. Oh, that's better. Uh, yeah, so my friend Sabrina came over earlier. Um, we met at Morrison's. 
I uh, got some stuff in to do a vegan Sunday roast even though it's Friday and actually the main ingredient we got it had cheese in it and neither of us noticed it was kind of my fault because I picked it out but yeah neither of us noticed so that's gonna go to my friend Dave luckily I had some other stuff in so we did like vegan pigs in blankets and then a load of veg and stuff. It was freaking delicious, mate. Uh, we practiced some songs for Open Mic as well. So we practiced um, Running Up, well, kind of Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush, Heart of Novocaine by um, Hailstorm. Um, what else did we do? Uh, Gloomy Sunday by Billy Holiday. Had a little bit of a practice of uh, Wake Me Up When September Ends. We might do Polly as well. Um, and we played some stuff in the past as well. So she was playing piano, I was doing guitar. So that was fun. We also had a quick game of Payday. My landlord, well not the landlord, well I guess he is the landlord. He's the guy who owns the land the house is on. I own the house, he owns the land. But he popped around to say hello, but like it was just before we were about to serve dinner. So uh, yeah, kind of got rid of him <laughs> quickly. But uh, yeah, um, then oh she met Biggie and stuff so that was good. And then she headed off and I've just been being productive ever since. Um, it's the movie night at uh, Wickham Art Centre but I'm not there, which is good. Uh, there is live music there tomorrow, so I'm going to that, and then there is um, like a community theatre thing on Sunday, so I think I'm going to that as well. Um, what else is new? I need to carve a pumpkin later. Oh, I've just made this. This is an Oreo milkshake, vegan Oreo milkshake. I know it looks a bit vile, but it is so good. Oh. So that's um, vegan almond milk, no, oat milk. Uh, vegan ice cream and Oreos blended together. That's all it takes. Delicious. So that's like my dessert. I'm still reading um, the James Herbert book, uh, The Secret of Crickley Hall. Uh, it's going alright so far, so I'm enjoying that. And then next up I'm probably going to read The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins because me and a Charles Heathcote of booktube fame are supposed to be doing a buddy read. So probably going to do that. Um, and yeah, I'm just doing a bit of filming and editing at the moment and being, being productive e -proof. Still alphabetizing those books, it's taking fucking forever. You having daddy to be productive? Oh uh, yeah, oh, yeah, come and type for me please. Come type for me please. You're gonna do, what are you gonna do? You're gonna write a book. All work and no play makes Biggie a dull boy. Yes, is that true? Okay, I need to put the tripod there, please. Right, thank you. Hello, everybody. It is five to four in the afternoon of Saturday, the 30th of October. Camera just tilted by itself, made me chuckle. Yeah, uh, Saturday, 30th of October. Let's see. Well, I was up until like four last night. Um, mostly doing bits of housework and working um, but my work is now in a pretty good place my freelance stuff so I don't have a huge amount to do um, so I'm just gonna quickly crack on oh no my fucking Jesus Christ my Mac is struggling man I don't have any space left on it um, so it's like I can't render out any videos. I can't even edit at the moment actually because it can't save the library Let's just do a cheeky force quit there um, So I have started to tackle it. I mean, maybe I'll Yeah, why not? Well, we can I can upload. I've got a bunch of um, Like videos of me playing guitar and stuff that I've been putting in a Facebook group called open mic slate Oh wait, did that just oh that just actually freed up quite a lot of space so maybe we do have some space, we'll see. Um, <laughs> I think the temporary file for um, Final Cut Pro was using up a lot of the hard drive space. Um, so I might be able to squeeze out a cheeky render, we'll see. But yeah, uh, there's this Facebook group called Open Mic Slate where I uh, you know, post videos of me singing and playing guitar. So um, I've got a bunch of those on the Mac that I can like slowly upload, you know? Um, but if I do like two a day instead of one a day, I can basically free up some space on my Mac a little bit quicker. Um, I mean, I do have here, I'm trying to render uh, reading vlog number 135, but it's quite a long vlog, because it's the vlog that was to, that took place while I was moving. So it's like half an hour long. So once I up, uh, export that, I can then upload it. I can delete the source files, I can delete the final file. That's gonna free up some space. The vlog after that's almost edited and the same is true for that as well. Um, 
but yeah, if I upload that thing. I'm also watching Sphere, which is a movie based on a Michael Crichton novel. But again, that's saved in my Dropbox as opposed to on Netflix or something. So once I finish watching that, I can delete that. Especially because it's not particularly good. I can't imagine myself wanting to rewatch it, to be honest. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm still reading uh, The Secret of Crickly Manor. I think that's what it's called, by James Herbert. I'm on about page 400 of 600 at the moment. So I am getting through it and I'm enjoying it. Um, it's just a, I mean, it's a slow read in terms of it's taken me a while to get through it, but it's not slow in terms of the action. I'm quite, I'm still enjoying reading it, you know. So I'm going to finish that soon and then move on to The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. I did all of my editing and eBay listings and video formatting and all that stuff yesterday as well, so that was good. Um, this evening I'm off to the art centre to go and see Tony Goff and the Broken Colours and they're supporting Bear Jams, who are like a, I guess like, kind of like a reggae ish band or scar or like in that vein anyway they're pretty good i'll uh, link below to their youtube so you can check out some of their music if you want um, but i'm not working so i'm just going to enjoy it so i've paid me 14 pound 50 for a ticket or whatever and i'm just going to go and have a bit of a dance and a few beers and hopefully not get too drunk because then i can come back here and crack on and be productive you know so that's where we're at i've also got in the post oh god a cat dna test so we need to do a, I need to get some of Biggie's DNA, which is going to be a challenge. Um, and then i got to send that back off to America and then they'll send me the results. So I should get a breakdown of like breeds and stuff because because he was adopted. I don't really know what breed he is. Uh, I think there's some Maine Coon in there, but I'd, I'd, I'd like to see a little breakdown. It's not 100% scientific, but it gives you a, an idea. Uh, but it also, like I think it says on it, uh, blah, 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 does it not say it on the box? Maybe it was in the wrapping that I've taken off. But yeah, you get other stuff like a free dental report. Uh, it'll let me know if there are any um, like genetic things, any, any genetic abnormalities to look out for. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to do. So I'll probably do a video when I get the results of that as well. Uh, we'll see. So that's where we're at. Yo, it is uh, 20 past seven on Sunday, the 31st of October, Halloween. It also happens to be Biggie's birthday. So, um, yeah, I didn't get him anything this year because I'm a terrible human, but I did give him some dreamies earlier, so he seemed to enjoy that. So, uh, updates. Okay, well, yesterday was Bear Jams at the Art Centre. They were supported by Tony Goff. Um, so, great evening of live music. Uh, really enjoyed it. Had probably too many beers. Um, and then I wanted to go out to another pub afterwards, but no one would go with me, so I just came home and did some colouring in and fell asleep instead. I uh, woke up this afternoon and then went back to the Arts Centre for Greta's Ghostly Goings On, which is a production by Roundabout Creative Theatre, who are like our in-house uh, theatre company. So that was great, I uh, really enjoyed that. Um, uh, saw Sabrina, met Sabrina to go there, and my friend Amanda as well, who lives with Dave, who is uh, in the band that I'm in, the, the Ilk. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. And actually I picked up a book while I was there because to raise some money for like the mayor's appeal, because um, the mayor of High Wycombe is one of the people in the that was in the play and um, is in the, the creative theater company. Um, and so she's raising money for a couple of different charities and they had some books that you could take uh, in exchange for donations. So I picked up an Alan Bennett book, which I'm very excited about. Uh, reading wise, I am still reading The Secret of Crickley Hall, but I am now, I'm past two thirds of the way there. I'm probably about 75% of the way there. So I'm hoping maybe finish that tomorrow, if not uh, Tuesday, and then I'm gonna move straight onto The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins, which I'm doing as a buddy read with Charlie, Charles Heathcote. And then by the time I finish that, it'll almost be time for me to pick up the um, next Wizard of Oz book for um, the series of buddy reads that I'm doing with Joel Swagman. Speaking of The Wizard of Oz, I watched The Wizard of Oz earlier. Um, I've currently just got some uh, YouTube videos on while I wait for my Dropbox to resynchronize itself. I now finally have space on my, my Mac again, which is a big relief. So um, yeah, once that's synchronized, it's gonna it's downloading Hocus Pocus from my Dropbox, and so I'm gonna watch that because it's Halloween obvs. Uh, I also made a pumpkin earlier, so if I can be bothered and remember, I will put a photo of that here. I can't be bothered to show you it on video because it's not lit at the moment and it took like four candles for it to work four candles handles for forks um so yeah that's basically been my evening i'm gonna make a uh, pumpkin soup later on as well which should be nice still working on slowly alphabetizing the books i'm i'm almost there now i would say i'm a good three quarters if not 80 percent of the way there 
so I should finish that next week and then I can finally alphabetize the vinyl up there. Speaking of vinyl, it's over there on the sofa. You can't, can you see beyond my head? Uh, uh, you can just about see it. Where's my finger? There. Uh, I bought a, a vinyl of Bear Jams, which was the band that I went to see yesterday. So I'm gonna listen to that in a bit. I've been listening to some, uh, some of the Shadows as well. And that's about it. I think that's all I got for you. And uh, we're at the end of another week. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.